Hello guys, it's CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. Today we're going to be doing OCD buy. So last video we did the buy mode uh, button where we can switch between 1, 5, or not 1, 5, 10, and 100 and max. So today we're going to do it so it rounds up. So for at 83, it'll round up to 85. Okay? This shouldn't be too difficult. So we need to hop into our upgrades manager, which is located in our earth game object. Open that right up. Also, if you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications so you can know when I publish videos almost every day. And comment your suggestions below. Um, if I have a, I have a little plan here. Let me pull that up right here. So what I'm doing here, I have tons of videos I'm going to make. So I'm not gonna. Um, this is just kind of what I have so far. It's like I have tons of C Sharp Crash Course videos to do, obviously, because there's a lot to learn. Um, Clicker Heroes, yeah, I'm going to do some more Clicker Heroes. I'm going to do some other series. Like, I'm going to continue the Venture Capitalist series. So, uh, since that was my 500 subscriber special, I feel like I should just continue that on and just keep building up. And, yeah, that should be fun. Let's hop right into it. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so I can do more of those videos. And it means a lot to me. You can help me grow. All right, so here we have our our buy mode right here, right? So what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna round this up, okay? And now if we can buy less, then we need to just, um, like if we can only buy one, then we're just gonna make it so it only buys one, or we can just make it so it just round, automatically rounds up. And people love this, okay? So we're gonna have a button here, and that method is gonna be public toggle, toggle OCD. Okay, and this is a pretty self-explanatory. We need to open up our uh, player data script. And we need to add a, so this can be considered a setting, I guess. So this will be public uh, bool, and this will be OCD by, OCD by. Okay, we're gonna set this to false. So automatically it will not do that. Okay, this is in our player data class inside the full reset method we're setting it to false so in here we're just gonna uh we're just gonna toggle that so we're gonna do game dot data dot ocd by is equal to itself but the opposite which is with an explanation mark just like that so now i'll toggle between true and false and we can also manage our text here too so let's add that real quick okay so we have our buy mode text so we're just gonna copy and paste this and we're gonna replace it with ocd text or something like that OCD text. Okay. And then in here, we're just going to set the text equal to whatever buy mode is. And let's just say when, if it's true, we want OCD on. And if it's not, then we want OCD off. And to simplify this, what we can actually do is since this is the same thing, we can just grab this right here. And let's just put the dollar signs. So we can put variables in here. And then in here, we need print or parentheses. So we'll copy this, bring this in here, and replace it with just on and off. Looks like that. Okay. So now, if it's true, it'll display as on. If it's false, it'll display as false. Okay. And now we want to load this at the beginning of the script too, because it is a variable that we are saving. So we need to load that text in. So we just put that in our start method. Cool. All right. So now. What we're going to do is get this rounding going. Okay. So this is by max, obviously. So we're not going to worry about anything here. But n equals 5 is... We're just going to change things up. Okay. So we're going to grab an if statement. If, uh, if game.data.ocd by is true, then we're going to set n equal to... Okay. So we need to... Let's write this down in a note document real quick. Okay. So let's say our level is 83. We want to round it to 85. So we need to set n equal to two, right? If it's 80 and we want to get to 85, then we need to set n equal to five, okay? So how do we do this? So we set whatever our, our level is right now. Okay, so how we're gonna calculate this is we're using mod right here, okay? So if we do 83 mod five, we get three, okay? We have three, okay? Now, if we subtract that with 83, we get 80. So then all you gotta do is plus five, okay? Okay, 
So now we know our steps. It looks like this. Oh, it looks like this. 83, or whatever our current level is, minus our current level mod whatever the number we want to do. So for example, 5. We add that, whatever our level is again. And there we go. OCD in a nutshell. So we put this in here. We need to replace some of our things, right? And obviously, let's have an else. And this will be n equals 5. We can clean this up in a second. Okay. So, also, let's see. Okay. So let's say our, we need to get our current level, which is k. Yep. So that's k, k. Okay, so we do k minus k mod 5 plus 5. All right. Cool. Pretty simple equation. Let's see. Can we, yep, we can convert this to a question mark operator. So now if it's true, it will be k minus k mod 5 plus 5. Well, if it's false, it will be 5. Okay. We're going to do the exact same thing for the rest. So this will be 10 plus 10. And this will also be 10. And let's just copy this here. So we can add another zero. And this will be 100 instead. Cool. So now it will just round up. Okay. Only if it can afford it. So let's try this out. Oh, this is the wrong game. <laughs> I just realized I was in the wrong game. How did I get that open? Um, okay. Let it sink. Did it sink? I think it did. Yep. It did. Okay. So now we need to talk. We need a button for Bimax because we don't have that yet. So let's go to our main screen, wherever that is. Oh, this is the upgrade screen. Yeah. In our upgrade screen, we're going to add our OCD button. So next to the upgrade buy mode, we're going to call this the OCD button or OCD mode, whatever you'd like. And we can just clean this up a bit. Okay. And then we're going to do OCD on. Okay, and in our upgrades manager, we need to drag our OCD text into the inspector and save it. And we need to assign a method to this, which is upgrade manager dot toggle OCD. Make sure you have the upgrades manager dragged in here. Alrighty. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel new, and turn on those notifications. Okay, man, yeah, we've been gone for five days. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a long time. Okay, I want to turn off this letter notation because I don't like it. Ah, I still need to fix that. Let's do that real quick. Um, so where is this happening? I think this is happening in our main script. Where is that? Right here. Okay, and let's just do coins. Right here. Okay, I see. Why is it F2? I don't remember, or why is it F0? I don't remember changing it to that. Weird. I usually don't do that. Um, oh yeah, we got a lot of F0s. So let's just do, let's just replace all. And in Rider, you do shift, uh, control shift F and you can see this where you can find everything. Okay, so let's do F0. Um, I think this is supposed to be F2. No, that looks reasonable. Okay, well, that should fix automatically every time you load it. So now let's go to our upgrades and turn on OCD. Okay, so on 5, our upgrade is 249. So when we can afford it, which we can't, this should be able to round up, right? So let's do it to this one. So this one is, uh, it costs 69 or 68. Okay. Um, looks like the other level techs are off, so I need to fix that too. But oh, our level techs aren't incorrect or bleh, aren't correct either. What's going on? Something is going on with our user interface. And I guess this is something I did a long time ago, and I just never noticed. So that's kind of a bad thing because I'm letting people down. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Oh, click upgrade cost. Oh, this is an array. Okay. So our, these are, that's production. Okay. So production I is equal to this text. Why is that?
Okay, so it's level. I see here. Okay, so this is the wrong one. This should be production upgrade levels. Okay, I don't know how I didn't notice that. I think that's all that was incorrect, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so if you ever see something like that and you see a text using the wrong thing, first things first, you need to just trial and error. Make sure you replace variables, check to see if it's the right one. And that's my only advice because I get a lot of questions saying, oh, the, the coins text shows the cost or something like that. So just make sure you're assigning the wrong text or the correct text or string or whatever and the right variables because it will mix up. Okay, so everything seems to be working now. Let's go to upgrades. Cool, everything looks good. Okay, so now I can buy max 173, so we can do a lot. So let's see. Now 5, so this is level 17. So this should round up to 20. Uh, that's 22. Why is that? Okay, well that's not good. This isn't working. What about 10? And it's still buying 10. Okay, well that's an issue. It looks like our... Is our, uh, I guess the only way to see this is to know if, if it's even toggling. Yeah, it is. So it's on. Okay. So in our upgrade manager, what's the issue here? So if it's true. Oh, I see. This is only for our click upgrade by Max. So if we do this to click upgrade to. Oh, okay. I see the issue here. So if we only do this to click upgrade two right here, um, uh, let's yeah. So let's do ten right here. It should round up to twenty. Ah, it's buying more than that. It's buying. It's actually buying twenty. Okay. So that's another issue. Is that okay? I see what we're doing wrong here. We're kind of getting this calculation cor or incorrect. So let's go back to this. So let's copy and paste this to calculator. So let's say the level is eighty three again, and we're buying. So the problem is that we are rounding it up correctly, but we want this to be two because we're only buying two, right? So how do we do this? So now removing this again, we get three again, but that's not what we want. Okay, so we want our actual level. So then we get 80 plus five. I feel like this is really like redundant, but it should work. Minus 83 again. Okay. Now, I, there there might be a way to simplify this big time. Let's go to Wolfram. So Wolfram Alpha is good for... Okay, so that doesn't seem to really care. It just wants to get our... Um, okay, it just wants to output what we get here. But Wolfram is very cool. You can do so many really cool calculations in here with really big numbers and... Yeah, it gives you so many answers too. And it's really fast, which is really cool. Okay, so this is our equation here. So we need to just subtract it all by 83 again. Because before was 85, which is correct. But we need to minus it all again by level. Okay, so in here, let's put in parentheses. We need to subtract by k. Let's see, do we need this? No, we don't. Okay, so subtract by k. <laughs> It seems like a really weird equation, but trust me, it'll work. And, there, and this can probably be simplified if I thought about it, because I'm just developing. I'm just making this on the top of my head right now, because that's kind of how making games works. If you want to make an equation, you kind of just kind of experiment with it. Okay, so now it should work. So if we do ten, it should round up to twenty. Yay! We did it. So now if we buy, say one, it rounds up to forty. Now, this is only if we can afford it, right? So we can't just do it with this one because we can't afford it, right? So now let's do 100. So now this will just round up to 100. And perfect. So let's buy max. 90. Yeah. So if we can just keep doing 5. So if we buy 1, it'll round up to 5. Okay. So our final test here before we add it to production is, does 5 work? Yes, it does. It does perfectly. Does 10 work? Yes, it does perfectly. Now, I've already tested 100. Now, what about OCD? What does this do? Uh, I kind of, here, let me get rid of my upgrades. <laughs> uh, which one is this? Click upgrade two, nine, okay. So now does it work with um, OCD off? Nope, it just keeps going, right? It doesn't round up, but if we turn on OCD, then it works. Perfect, 
works beautifully. People love this, and it's such an easy thing to implement. It is a very, very, very easy thing to implement. Just a simple equation right here. How many you're buying, or it's um, your current level, minus the current level mod, what, how, many, how many you're buying, or how much you want to round up to, plus how much you're wanting to round up to again, minus the level again, and that is a total of how many levels you should buy. Perfect. If you don't understand that, make sure you kind of go back and just look at the equation so you can see how things go. If you don't know what mod is, here I can explain real quick. So let's do mod 30 mod 10. It's going to be zero, right? Because 10 divide evenly into 30. So 30 divided by 3 is 10. Okay, so we have no remainder. So this technically this is like the remainder, I guess we can say. So if we do 31 mod 10, then we get 1. Because mod is one is the remainder if we do clean division, right? Thirty divided by thirty one divided by ten, we get thirty with a remainder of one. Okay, so if we do thirty nine, we get nine, right? This is really really good with um doing true or false stuffs. Okay, so if you want to have something occur every twenty five, okay, so let's say you have a hundred, you want something to occur every twenty five, and it's true when it's zero, right? So if for example, this is a level. Let's say if it's 99. This is false right now because it's not zero. But if we make this 100, 100 mod 25, then it's zero. So hopefully that makes sense. If you don't, make sure you do some research on that because it's very helpful. Okay. Now we need to copy and paste this for our production. And obviously I should have just made this into a method for both. But I wasn't thinking here. You know what? Let's do this. Okay. And this right here, we can also copy and paste this and use it for all because this is our count. So obviously the text wasn't displaying the way we want it to be. Okay. So what we can do here is set n. We're going to copy this method right here or this switch case right here. Okay. So now we're going to make a method. Um, it's going to be a big double big double obviously this should really be an int but for casting purposes for larger equations this really gets ugly in the future so that's why it's good to cast if you have an int you want to cast n as a big double here or else it really messes things up I don't know why it happens but it does you get infinities once your equation gets really big <laughs> past e308 of course even though if it's a big double it's kind of strange how it works that way but I didn't make this brick infinity anyways I need to keep I need to keep going. So in here, we're going to do calculate uh, by count right here. Okay, we're just going to paste this in here. And now what we're going to do in here is instead of n equals, we're just going to return. Okay. We're going to do that for all. And the only thing we need in here is, okay, we're going to need quite a bit. So we're going to need a big double C. A big double R, a big double B for base cost. And remember, R is our cost molt. Of course, I should have done M. That's probably a better one to do. And C is our currency. So we need K, which is our levels. And I should have done L for that. <laughs> big double L. Okay. Uh Oh, no. Big double K. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so this is an issue now. Um, okay, so this is where k needs to be an int. Okay, so I'm going to cast this big double as an int to prevent issues in the future. And we can get rid of this break as well because we don't need it. Okay, so now for our calculate by count, we do n equals by max count. And we put in our stuff. So c, r, k, B, no, it's just B and K. Oh, yeah, it doesn't always return something. So if it's for some reason nothing, we're just going to return zero. Okay. And this should be by max count or calculate by count. And we can make this big double of R. Cool. So we just, now we can use this wherever we want to. We can use it here. So var this. And we can get rid of this here. I think we can also get rid of this. We can just return the count. Okay. 
Same thing for, where else do we have this? Right here, we can just return that and get rid of all this excess code. And where else do we have this? Okay, we have this right here. We can do var n equal to calculate by count. And we have our method right here. And everything should work perfectly fine. I'm gonna move this above all of this just to prevent future confusion. This is a lot of our buy stuff right here. Okay, so let's save that. Hopefully I didn't go too fast, but basically what I did is that I, instead of copy and pasting that same switch statement for every single buy method and buy count, it, I just made it into one and we can use it wherever we want to, even outside those two methods and future upgrades, okay? That'll make your code a lot cleaner. So now if we do buy five with OCD on, it should say, okay, it's only gonna buy one. Then it's gonna buy five and so on. So now this should work for production upgrade two. Yep, see, now it subtracts. Now this is really cool, look at that. OCD buys king. Okay, really cool how this all works together. I'm glad it does. Okay, so well, I earlier, like I copy and paste all these uh, calculated by counts, but the B and R are actually flipped, okay? So make sure you flip all of them for every single one of them, or else it kind of just screws things up. All right. Otherwise, I think I that's that's it. Yeah, it looks like it's working now, just fine. Alrighty. If you enjoyed this video and if it was really helpful, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications because those really help me, and they will help you too. The videos will help you. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Check out my other videos in the top of the corner. See ya. Peace.